Okay, this is a short video to explain how to use um, idle and create Python files and run them and save them and uh, submit them. So uh, once you start idle, uh, to create a file, you go to the file menu and uh, select new file. That's gonna open this editor. So this is a text editor where you can enter your programs. Okay, you just type like you would any other editor. So I'm just going to print um, you know, some random text here. And then to execute this, this is just a, just a file right now. Okay, we're not running it. In order to do that, we do run and then run module. And it's gonna ask you to save the file so you want to save it somewhere. I usually save it in the documents folder. I have a folder that where I put files like this. So let's save it. Um, since, since the homework has a problem that asks you to save it as mpg.py, let's save it like that. And you can see that it printed out that text in, this, in the idle window, okay? So if you want to add to it, it's very simple. Now I could print um, some other things. I'll go ahead and run it again. This time we won't have to save it. It's, or we'll have to save it, but um, the file's already there. It's just a matter of saving it. So it's going to ask you each time you want to say, okay. And now we've, we've printed um, the additional text in the idle window. So you can edit this file as much as you want, okay? So this is where your program, you will enter it, okay? All the, all the things that you need for your program will be in, in this file here. And when you're done, when you close out, this, this will be on the, you know, your hard drive on your computer. And if we go into the documents folder and go into uh, the Python files folder. We have this file mpg.py, which we can open it with, I'll use another editor that I use called Notepad++. Um, I can actually edit it here as well, okay? If I want to, I can, I can change it. Um, I can print, I get something else. Um, we'll print Kirkwood, okay, and save it. And then we could go here. If we wanted to open this file, we can do so. Remember where it's stored at. There it is. Okay, so you see it's the same text here. Now if we run it, we should see the text that we expect, okay? So that's how you deal with files in Python. Uh, there are other, um, ways of doing this, but for now, uh, this is probably the simplest way to deal with it. It's um, pretty easy to do, and it should, it should get us by at least these first few assignments. So thank you for watching, and I will talk to you next time.